determine the block shear strength of welded tension member shown in figure use a uh, steel of grade fe410 uh, so this is the given diagram okay and uh, this is the total uh, welded length if you see okay and what we have to find is block shear strength of this particular section we don't have to design it we just have to evaluate the shear strength uh, i have just got this diagram again from the previous slide here now our first step will be total welded length how much is that if you see here this weld length is 100 this is two times okay so this is 100 into 2 plus how much is this vertical length it is 225 so total welded length is 425 mm. Next, uh, gross area in shear and net area in shear, it will be same for welded connection. It is equal to 425, which is total weld length into thickness of the section, 10 mm. So it comes to be 4250 mm square. Then gross area in tension, and net area and tension, it will be again same 100 into 10. This is 100 into 10. Okay. Now, once these two areas are obtained, you just have to use this equation TB1. TB1 is given by this equation 0 0.525 into AVG into FY plus 0 0.72 into ATN into FU. FY is 250, FU is 410. Okay, just substitute the values and get what is TB1. It comes to be 853.01 kilonewton. This is one equation. Okay, for evaluating block shear strength. Second equation is TDB2. So this is 0 0.416 into AVN into FU plus 0 0.91 into ATG into FY. Okay. So this is equal to, again, we have substituted all the appropriate values and what comes is finally TDB2 is 952.38 kilonewton. So block shear strength will be least of the two values TDB1 and TDB2. So final answer is 853.01 kilonewton.